well. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emmy, and my videos are usually about ooh, life abroad, living in Canada, travel related stuff and things like that. Um, and if you're new here, welcome back. Today is a vlog. Um, it is very early, it's like 5.30 a.m. And we're traveling to a place we've never been before today. I was gonna be like, maybe I won't tell you and then you'll never know, but I'm pretty sure the thumbnail's gonna have where we're going on. We're going to Alberta today. We're going to fly out from Victoria to Calgary and then drive up to Banff, meet our friends there who have come over from the UK um, and just explore that province. I am super excited. It's like the place that I have always wanted to go ever since moving to Canada. And yeah, this is also the first trip where I've ever success, success? <laughs> it's early successfully packed only carry-on um i know i know i am not a light traveler because i am someone who does just in cases for literally everything so yeah um just carry on because i don't want it to not like i don't think it's gonna get lost between victoria and calgary but it just makes it easier and also it's um it's cheaper to do it that way so yeah we're only going for four nights we're staying three nights in Banff one night in Calgary and we're going to Banff straight away tonight it's going to be a really good drive I'm very excited um no makeup on this morning because it's really early but yeah I hope you enjoy it excited we're at a place called the hidden ridge resort which is like a chalet um like, with, like they have like, there's a lot of little chalets and uh, apartments and condos and things so it was really good the flight was super quick um it was only about an hour and 20 minutes and then we got um, a lift from our friends up to Banff, which was about an hour or so um, so it was a long day of travel, but it is so beautiful here. Oh my gosh, I, I mean, I knew it was gonna be pretty, but it was like, it's, um, it's stunning. We went out last night and explored a bit of Banff town. Um, then today we are going to go to the Johnston Canyon Trail, I think. Um, we don't know if we can get there because some of the roads are closed, but we're gonna try. And then we're going to go to maybe the gondola, um, do some hiking. Tomorrow we're going to do some horse riding. And then, yeah, just explore a little bit. I'm very, very excited. It's very cold. You know, see my breath a little bit. I'm not used to this because Victoria is like super warm. But apparently tomorrow and the next day are going to be really nice. So, yeah. And there's also this amazing pool here and like a hot tub like long hot tub overlooking the mountains and yeah it's it's amazing so uh yeah that's what we're gonna do today go to maybe go to the gondola maybe hike it um go to johnston canyon trail and explore a bit of bam and yeah i think i already said that but that's that's the plan we'll see what happens
top of Sulphur Mountain. Just casual snow on the ground. <laughs> this is so crazy. Which is really really cool. It is worth it. Um, yeah, it. yeah, I think it was worth it too. Yeah. Our friends hiked up, and I personally could not do that because um, one of our friends is an athlete, and I'm like, I cannot keep up with that. So we took the gondola, and I love a good gondola. You know, you've seen the one that we did in Whistler. And look at these views! Oh my gosh! Just this this place is beautiful. But there was snow at the top, and it was I was not prepared for this kind of weather because in Victoria right now it's like 27 degrees. Um, and I did not pack for that, so I'm wearing like every layer that I have. Um, but yeah, yeah, definitely highly recommend the gondola uh, in Banff, but um, just be aware, it's very expensive, but um, absolutely amazing. beautiful day in Banff and we are going horse riding <laughs> I'm so excited if you didn't know this about me um, horse riding is one of my life loves I have been riding since I was six years old obviously not um, all the time but whenever I do get the chance to do it I do do it fun fact when I was 20 I spent a summer in northern Michigan oh my gosh mountain air I'm exhausted um, in northern Michigan teaching horse riding to kids at a summer camp. So yeah, uh, I have no idea what to expect, but it's around Lake Louise, um, which is where we are right now. And yeah, I'm super excited.
is our last day in Banff. Very sad, I know I would show you, but there's a big tree in the way. So our friends just left. They are heading down to or over to Vancouver and we are gonna fly back tomorrow. Uh, so we're gonna get some breakfast, I think. We're gonna get some tea or coffee or whatever. We're gonna pack, head back to the hotel and pack up our things. Well, our things are pretty much already packed. And then we're gonna get the, um, the Banff like transit bus back to Calgary because we're gonna stay in Calgary tonight, uh, which is very exciting. I've never been to Calgary before other than the airport on the way here. So yeah, it's a beautiful day today. It is very hot already despite the fact I'm wearing a jacket because the mountain air is really cold. And so it gets really cold in the morning and then it gets really hot in the afternoon. So yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Um, and that is what we're gonna do right now. Stunning. Also, we're walking back to our hotel and uh, we got told that there's a bear in the area, so um, just trying to be a little bit mindful of that. Not trying to get uh, run into a bear on our last, um, our last few hours being here. <laughs> just had brunch at this really cool spot called Maven. Is it just Maven? Uh, Maven. The Maven. Maven. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Um, highly recommend. It was actually really, really good. And now we're just going to walk 17th Avenue, which is where we were at last night, where all of the the park um, movie, outdoor movies were. And then we're going to go up to Inglewood, which is the design art district. Um, so yeah, we were like thinking that maybe we were going to go to the zoo, but I'm always a bit funny with zoos, um, especially if I'm not sure about them, or like I haven't done much research. So instead we're going to explore the city. And then, I don't know, we have no plans. Um, also, got this from one of the amazing vintage stores here in Calgary. Was not expecting such an amazing vintage, whoa, loud. Was not expecting such an amazing vintage scene, but some of the coolest, stores that I have ever seen um, yeah and also really awesome murals here so yeah that's what we're gonna do today being curious an amazing view of the sea you would never have known if uh, if it wasn't for that sign that said about photo taking so obviously someone knew and then they designate this whole spot for taking pictures I love that Calgary that's awesome <laughs> Just at Fort Calgary. No idea who this guy is because the plaque has been taken down, but this is Fort Calgary. It's like a wooden house. Um, it looks like there is a British flag just there. So I'm assuming it's some British settlement. This is Fort Calgary. It's closed, so we can't go in. Uh, 
I don't really know what it's about. I don't know. Fort Calgary, like Fort. Sounds like a. That's a train if you can hear it. It sounds like it should be a military base, but I mean, it looks like a little house, so. learned that Mike's just gonna walk in the way of the camera. This building, Fort Calgary, which you know is an entire museum people paid to go in I assume, is fake. It's not real. Well, not fake. It's a replica of the actual Fort Calgary, but um, it's not real. And that kind of makes me sad a little bit because I'm like, why? Why would you want to see a fake building? But I guess it's the history behind it, right? Weird. <laughs> If you can't tell, um, I didn't do an outro because, I mean, we're all used to me forgetting to do that. So I'm gonna do one now. Let me just move that back a little bit. From my living room. Um, Banff. I'm sure you can kind of get the, how I felt about Banff and, uh, and Calgary from the video, but I have to say that Banff I loved, it was beautiful, very expensive, kind of cold, um, even when it was hot. Uh, definitely would go back, very busy, probably wouldn't go back to all of the spots that I went to this time. I think next time I'd really like to go to Marine Lake and Ka Kananaskas, which is like near Banff. Calgary really surprised me. Like I liked Calgary way more than I thought I would. It was such a cool place and there were so many cool little spots and uh, I would never live there, but to visit, honestly, yeah, I would go back. So props to Calgary. If you can see Moose in the back, he's just, it looks just like a little shadow blob. Oh, we can hear me talking about him. Hi. 
anyway. Uh, so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the video, the vlog. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I posted. Um, I'm not sure how the scheduling is gonna be for my videos for the next little while. There is just so much going on. Um, I'm posting daily videos to Instagram and TikTok. So if you're not following me there, make sure to go uh, follow me and check them out because uh, I've started to post them more regularly um, and I do them every day. And also I just have some a lot of personal projects going on at the minute. I have a lot of like, courses that I'm doing and classes and everyday work like my day job and just like photography practice and stuff so there's a lot going on so my schedule might be a little bit scattered for the next little while um but I do hope that you'll stick around and if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to hit like subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you know when I next post a video and check out the rest of my channel because I post videos about life abroad living in Canada travel related stuff and things like that so if you enjoyed this video you'll probably enjoy the other ones until my next one i hope you have the most wonderful day and i'll see you again very soon bye there's many ways to be happy